The love of God is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that life is in Jesus Christ, the finished work that he suffered and died. According to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That man the sinner might have life. And that life is in the gift of God. The gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And you're not going to go to heaven without Jesus. Church membership will not get you into heaven. Baptism won't save you. Doing good is not enough for God. Nothing but the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from all sin. And we're all sinners, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. God is merciful and gracious through Jesus. God is in wrath and anger against those that reject Jesus. That the love of God is through Jesus Christ. Salvation is not a Baptist, it's not Catholic, it's not Presbyterian, it is in the finished work and the blood of Jesus Christ. And that is all. Christ died for our sins. There is nothing and no one and not anything that can be above the death and burial of the scriptures of Jesus Christ. And of his burial and his resurrection three days and three nights, all according to the scriptures, you can't top that. If you were to be given all eternity, you can't do nothing to save your soul. What has been done and what has been accomplished for the lost man has been accomplished upon the cross of Jesus at Calvary. Only, only what Jesus done is approved to God. There is no satisfaction. Then the satisfaction of God. There is no means of approved of God. But what Jesus Christ did upon Calvary. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God will 
turn you away without Jesus. God will reject you and your religion. God will not approve of you being good. But God does approve the finished work and the blood of Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. To know Jesus is to know God. And to reject Jesus is to reject God. 